Hello, this is Dr. Leo at Lee Time. We talk about the shelf life of hydrosol, and we mentioned the very important step is to keep your bottle good sanitized. And also, when we are doing the distillation, so we're saving the equipment, the stainless steel. So the sanitization becomes important. How to keep the equipment safe to use, including the bottles. How can I make a good sanitization? For the glassware, and how to sanitize a stainless steel, and in this video, I will give you a five important sanitizers. You can choose the right one to do the sanitization on the different materials, and also there are misses, so you want to avoid those. Those you may heard about that, but.、Uh, That's not true, not accurate. So you gotta avoid those to make no mistakes. Let's talk about the five different ways we can use at home or in the workshop. It's at a relatively low cost. The first one is the bleach. You probably use bleach all the times. That's perfect for the surface disinfection. That means you can make a diluted the bleach solution and wipe the surface to kill the germs. Bleach is a very powerful disinfectant. It can kill virus, bacteria, and most of the microorganisms. But it will leave some smell. Like you go to the pool. You will smell the bleach. That actually is not a smell the bleach because it is a called a byproducts of a disinfection. It will react with uh, some uh, nitrogen content chemicals like urine, so that makes the smell. So if you make sanitize your the glass bottle, it's okay. But、uh, After the disinfection, some of the bottle may have the smell, the odor. So you try to avoid that. And for the stainless steel, you don't want to use the bleach because the bleach will cause discoloration. So you may use bleach diluted for the glass, but not stainless steel. Also, if you have copper, not on the copper. Copper will even worse. Because copper is very reactive, so it can cause more discoloration by using the bleach. The second one is aldefer. Aldefer is the same group with chlorine, like、uh, the bleach. So the bleach are using the chlorine, and the aldefer is the same elemental group. So it has a very good disinfection, as powerful as chlorine. But、uh, the benefit is it doesn't leave the any、uh, odor, so you may use that for both of your stainless steel and the glass for the disinfection. The downside of the aldefer is it may cause some discoloration because it has a brown color. You may cause a discoloration on your the rubber, the silicon, so. If you do the cleanation of your the stainless steel,、uh, take away your the rubber parts, only soak that part into the aldefer solution. The same way using the bleach, you need a good dilution of the aldefer. The third one is、uh, vinegar. We know vinegar is a very good、uh, cleanser. It can help clean the grease. Is perfect for most of the surface to make a shiny, but vinegar is not recognized by you know the CDC as a sanitizer because it doesn't kill enough the microorganisms to reach the three log level. So vinegar is a good cleaning agent. You can use that as a pre-treatment, but you don't use that. For your soul disinfection, the fourth one is alcohol. Alcohol is a good disinfectant. It's、uh, actually didn't kill the microorganism, but denaturalize it. That means it caused microorganism lose their reproduction ability. 
the bacteria, virus, they are very powerful because they can reproduce them very fast. So that makes the bad effects. So alcohol is still a good uh, disinfectant, but you got to use in the correct way. In short, you have to use in the right concentration, 60 to 90%, normally 70%. The last one is a boiling. Boiling actually is called the surest way to disinfect the, the parts. So of course, when you use it, you make, make sure your the parts to be sanitized by the boiling need to stand the high temperature, 100 degrees Celsius. So luckily, our the stainless steel steel and even the silicon O-rings, they can survive. They can has no problem in the boiling water. And also the glass, glass bottle, it can also definitely sanitize in the boiling water. So boiling water is definitely a very safe and a good way to make sure your container will be sanitized well. Now let's talk about the misses. So you may think about sanitization is instant. So some people just spray the alcohol on their container and then just wipe it away. It said, like, okay, it's done. It's all sanitized. No, it's not done. It's not correct. All of the disinfectants I mentioned, they have their own reaction times. Some can be faster, some are shorter. Let's do the fast way is boiling. Boiling in one minute can make sure the water is safe. And the same reason for the, you know, the container, stainless steel, glass bottle, it can finish very quickly. That's why we recommend you do the distillation, like using the vinegar water to distillate and that has two benefits. The first one, to clean up. As I mentioned, vinegar is a very good cleanser. It can remove the oil and grease. That's very common. You know, the residue sitting in the tubes, the coil, and the surface of the steel. So the first step of the steaming, the vinegar can clean it. And then with time, the water come up, it can also sanitize have a good sanitization on the steel. So 15 minutes of uh, distillation with wine vinegar is our recommended uh, cleaning and sanitizing procedure. So if you use uh, Aldefer, Aldefer actually is a very common disinfectant recommended for your brewing. When you are making the beer or wine, you wanna have a good sanitization of your container. So it does the work and in a very short time. Two minutes is a recommended time, but you also want to check the concentration of the aldefer you use. So concentration and the time are the two factors you want to consider. So generally two minutes for aldefer. Bleach the same, about two minutes. Alcohol take a long time. Even when using the 70% alcohol, it take 10 minutes, 10 minutes. That's how long you're gonna need when you're using alcohol. So don't just spray it and wipe away right away. So normally I will recommend, if you do sanitization on the glasswares, pour the alcohol in and soak it for 10 minutes at least. And let it sit there for a while, give it time for it to work. And that is how you sanitize the bottle. And this is a very important step if you have a dirty bottle, your hydrosol will go back quickly. As I mentioned, the shelf life of a hydrosol itself is pretty long. I've had a few bottles, it go over two years, but uh, you have to have a good sanitized bottle. And the last one is the vinegar. As I mentioned, it doesn't do the sanitization. Okay, thank you for watching. If you feel this video is uh, helpful, please like the video, this is very important for me, and subscribe the channel and help me reach the 10K quickly. This is Dr. Liu, thank you for watching, see you next time.